All right, Team of the Season is just around the corner. Let's talk about what we're about to get. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. If you're new to FIFA, if this is your first FIFA, or you just don't know much about FIFA itself, uh, basically every year EA drops a Team of the Season. Now, due to unprecedented circumstances this year, uh, we're getting Team of the Season so far, which is essentially Team of the Season from the season we've had so far because the season has stopped due to uh, what we already know has happened, basically. Um, now, I'm going to talk to you guys about what we got last year and what we continuously get every year to give you guys an idea of what we can expect, both team-wise, SPC-wise, dates-wise, predictions-wise, all that good stuff. Um, so let's dive right into it. This is the the card we're getting. Now, this is 66% done. Uh, EA tweeted this out yesterday, uh, loading 66%. So we're going to get uh, a final finishing touch to this card. I'm guessing it's either going to be like a lightning bolt across it or some gold in there somewhere uh, or some just different colors or something. Um, they're usually pretty good. I like how it looks already. Uh, so, you know, a little bit of gold in there, a little bit of nice bright color would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I like it. I think it's cool. Let me know down below if you guys like this or not. Uh, and uh, let's jump straight into it. So we're going to start off over here with dates. Now, obviously, these dates don't apply to this year due to unforeseen circumstances. But these dates give you a rough idea of what kind of order we're getting team of the season. So last year, we got Community Tots followed by Football League Tots on the same day. That went from uh, Friday the 10th of May to Friday the 17th of May. <clears throat> then the following Friday, we got the Premier League Tots and the Saudi Professional League Tots. That went from May 17th to May 24th. Then from May 24th to May 31st, we got the Bundesliga and the Liga Nos Tots. From May 31st to June, but uh, sorry, June 7th, um, we got La Liga Tots and Super League Tots, uh, followed by Serie A Tots and Eredivisie Tots, followed by uh, Liga Tots and Latin America Tots, followed by the rest of the world team of the season and ultimate team of the season. So uh, in terms of the dates, obviously the dates don't apply here, but the order does. I think the order will stay pretty similar. It's usually Community Tots and Football League Tots, then Premier League Tots, then Bundesliga, La Liga, Serie A, Liga. It goes usually in that order. So that's the kind of order you guys can expect. Uh, I am almost 100% sure a week on Friday we'll get the Premier League Tots and then we'll see what happens after that. But that is one I can almost guarantee will happen straight away. Um, now, in terms of, of what we got, we actually got some uh, some incredible SBCs last year that I absolutely loved. Uh, we got the guaranteed SBCs, by the way. The fact that that was my team during Tots last year was is crazy. That team is ridiculous. Um, but we got ourselves guaranteed Premier League Team of the Season Tots. We got them for every single Team of the Season. We got a guaranteed Team of the Season. Um, so in terms of, of the requirements last year, it was an 86-rated squad with a Team of the Season player. Uh, I submitted Bergwin. Um, and this squad uh, and it allowed you to get a guaranteed Premier League team of the season player um, this is going to be a bit of reminisce right here to have a look at the old uh, the old animation but it guaranteed you a guaranteed uh, team of the season player from that league we got them for every single league and every single minor league as well although the minor leagues weren't as good um, the minor league ones were pretty terrible last year I hope they're better this year um, but the main league ones were the exciting ones we got ourselves uh, guaranteed team of the season packs uh, in mine, I went and got myself Bernardo Silva, 94 rated, very, very good uh, pull, uh, incredible looking card. Um, and uh, and that's sort of what happened to Premier League Team of the Season. We got these twice a week. We got them uh, both on, I believe it was a Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. And then I want to say, I can't actually remember, I think it was a Sunday and a Tuesday we got them. Well, I'm not 100% sure. I know it was uh, twice a week last time as well, and I got someone at Lacazette last week as well. Uh, sorry, last year as well, we got uh, Lacazette. But we were getting these last year and the year before that in FIFA 18. We got them twice a week on a Sunday and a Tuesday. I think we got them on a Sunday and a Tuesday again in FIFA 20, uh, FIFA 19, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't exactly remember it. Um, but these SPCs were great, and they had them for every single one. They had them for uh, the City A team of the season as well. As you guys can see, an 85 rated squad for the City A team of the season with a team of the season player. Uh, and I got myself, who did I get in this? I got myself Donnarumma, I think. Um, who was 95 rated. Don't get me wrong, it was sick. Uh, people weren't really always getting amazing cards. But the fodder was fantastic because for SBCs and stuff, the fodder was absolutely great. Um, I think I got people Correa's all over the board with this one. I saw someone got Quagliarella, which was a sick card. So yeah, we got a lot of these every single every single one. We got the one for the community tots as well. 
uh, as you guys can see, uh, the community tots was uh, a low rated one, if I'm not mistaken, 84 rated. Uh, we didn't really have too many good community teams of the season, though. Um, this was the community tots last year. We had Sizoko, who was pretty incredible. If you guys don't remember, he got released in the SBC and in the team. So people that did the SBC got the uh, tradable version, which was pretty pretty strange and, and crazy. Um, and people that are opening packs as well uh, got him tradable. Because he wasn't like he should have been in the team and he wasn't. It was interesting. Um, but we're going to get guaranteed team of the season packs this year. And given what EA have done uh, with the foot birthday party bag and the other SBCs we've had this year. What I would guess is they're probably going to do a guaranteed one every week. And then they'll do like a guaranteed one of three certain leagues or something. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but that should probably start happening, I would imagine, on the Sunday or the Tuesday after Community Tots. We'll probably get one straight away pretty much. Um, so we'll sort of see how that goes. We also got ourselves, uh, obviously we get them every, every single year, rewards with Team of the Season red picks in. Uh, so this is a, a League and Tots rewards. Uh, I think I got myself uh, Elite 3, which is good for me. If you guys know what happened to me last weekend, let's just we won't talk about it. But these were what they were sort of looking like. Uh, there was Furlan Mendes. That card looks incredible. I, I, I wish we got that sort of card this year. Um, but there was a lot, of, a lot of really, really good rewards to get. Last year, um, the red picks were pretty incredible. I can't remember if this is where I got Mbappe or not. Uh, but I got somebody in Mbappe in one of these rewards, I think. Um, but you also got, despite despite just that, you got yourself, obviously, the premium uh, tot pack as well for um, for Elite and Top 100. Uh, that was what they sort of looked like. If we're, looking at, if we're looking at Top 100 rewards here, if I'm not mistaken, these weren't great. Although I don't actually remember whose Team of the Season rewards these were. Because I had two sets of team of the season, uh, top 100 team of the season rewards here, um, but obviously there you go, Mbappe in the in the top 100 pack. Um, obviously we'll get that again this year. We'll get guaranteed team of the season rewards, guaranteed team of the season packs for top 100 elite. Um, so you got them to look forward to. I would recommend this weekend if you have the qualification points, play champs. Uh, even if you play to silver one or gold three, what typically would happen is uh, gold three would guarantee you. Uh, nothing. It would just be uh, two player picks of Team of the Seasons. Gold 2 would guarantee you at least one player in each pick uh, from the top five leagues. Uh, so, for example, if it was Premier League Tots that week, um, Gold 2 would guarantee you one player in each pick from the Premier League Tots. Uh, same with Gold 1. Then Elite 3, I think, was two players in each pick was guaranteed from the from the league, the top five league of that week. Um, and the same up, upwards from, t uh, from top 100. So if you can get to Gold 2, I recommend doing it. I recommend getting to Gold 2 because um, it will more than likely be the same thing where the, the top nation, the top league, sorry, for that week will, guarantee, will be guaranteed a team of the season pick from, uh, from your player pick. So for two player picks in Gold 2, each player pick had one player guaranteed to be from one of the top leagues. And it didn't mean that only one player was from one, one of the top leagues. It meant that at least one was guaranteed. So you could get a, a full pick of four uh, Premier League tots, for example, um, in the second week of tots, or you could get a, a pick with three Saudi League and one Premier League tots. So, uh, yeah, if you do play champs and you are at a standard where you can get gold two, I recommend doing it. If not, go for gold three. It's always better to get the extra picks because um, you might get lucky and get one of the top leagues anyway. Uh, that is also very possible. Something EA dropped also uh, last year was uh, the start of the weekly objective players uh, for team of the season. Um, now, this was during the Prem and the Saudi League. We actually got ourselves uh, Babatimi Gomis, who I don't really care about. Uh, but we got ourselves a Tots Digne and a Tots Declan Rice. Uh, and they weren't difficult to get either. Now, judging EA's... Um, practices this year and the way that they're doing weekly objectives i think it'll be a little bit harder than it was last year i would guess we are going to get a bunch of objectives um like like per player for example Digne would uh, for this was assist using premier league players in five different rival wins which was pretty easy in the grand scheme of things uh i am guessing that this year it's going to be about three or four different categories uh one of them will be win five rival games with 11 premier league players first owner probably uh and they'll be like scoring goals and stuff like that so um last year it was uh ridiculously easy to get Digne and declan rice uh, and these are what the cards look like. This is what Declan Rice's card looked like. It's actually a really solid CDM card. Um, he played really well in game, but uh, that's what the sort of cards were looking like. And they were really easy to get last year. This year, I think it'll be 
uh, a little bit harder. Because last year, what they did was they released two players. One was a Rivals player and one was a, uh, a Squad Battles player. Declan Rice would score 15 goals against World Class and Squad Battles, I think. And I did it in literally one game. With I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to do with this team. Yeah, it was with like Premier League or English players. Um, so, you know, you always find it pretty easy to do it with this sort of team. But uh, I miss this team. I miss Moments SI. I miss, I miss my 96 Van Dyke. I miss this team so much. Uh, it was a fun team. Um... But it was really easy. It was really, really easy um, to get these players. And I think we'll get the same thing this year. I would I would hope EA will drop two because over foot birthday, they dropped two different players. Uh, Pequeto, who was like a mainly squad battles to grind player. And then uh, I think, I can't remember who the other player was that they dropped. Uh, Bakayoko, they dropped. Uh, I think Pequeto was actually from Future Stars. But Bakayoko and Cordoba. Cordoba was squad battles, Bakayoko's rivals. That sort of stuff. That'd be really cool. Hoping for that. Looking forward to that if they do drop that. Um, but prepare yourself and get yourself uh, players, basically. Um, you know, if you can get yourself uh, first owner players. If you have first owner players on the transfer list. And, you know, players like Rashford's and, and, and Sterling's and people like that. People, if you, if you don't need to sell them, don't sell them and hold on to them. Um, now, EA have dropped recently objectives and, uh, and, and SBCs for uh, booster packs. Hold on to those till team of the season. They could help you out a lot. I would guess, given those packs, that EA will go down the first owner route again, um, given that they're basically given as packs that will give us a lot of first owner players. I would guess EA are going to go down that route again. And uh, and when they do, you will hopefully be prepared with what you get from the booster packs. Um, but it will surely be worth it. I'm hoping we get some really good objectives this year because EA seem to be focusing a lot on weekly objectives this year. So we'll sort of see what happens. The last thing to talk about was Team of the Season moments. Uh, last year, we got ourselves moments players that didn't get into the Team of the Season. For example, uh, Terrera, Feke got one in uh, the Ligue 1. Uh, there was a lot of these sort of players. This Terrera card especially was really, really good. Uh, fantastic looking card. Uh, I don't exactly remember the requirements for this. I think Nep's face cam might block it. Uh, that is not the right requirements for the right card anyway. Uh, I think this was it. I think it's two Team of the Week players and then an 85 rated squad with 70 chem, um, which in my opinion was, was good value. They were typically pretty decent value for money SBCs and I'm almost certain we'll get the same thing again this year where we'll get um, TOTS moments as well. Whether we get people like, I don't know, flashback Team of the Season moments because EA like to do flashbacks this year. Um, whether we get just flashback Team of the Seasons in general, whether we get just Team of the Season moments in general, play moments, uh, SBCs with no expiry date. We'll sort of see what happens, but I'm guessing we'll get all of those as well. Um, but I'm looking forward to Team of the Season. Team of the Season is always a fun time, a lot of good content, usually not typically bored, um, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. We have one more thing to discuss, actually. The last thing to discuss is the upgrade packs. Now, last year, EA dropped Premier League 81 Plus packs as well as a bunch of different uh, upgrade packs, but we're just focusing on this one right now. Uh, during Team of the Season, um, they would drop the uh, these league-specific 81 Plus packs, which required 11 rares from that league uh, to complete. Now, they dropped these coincided with other upgrades. They dropped the uh, Premier League upgrade uh, sorry, the Premium Premier League and the regular Premier League upgrade packs, which were 25k packs with only Premier League players and the standard uh, upgrade packs, uh, like the 7.5k upgrade packs with only Premier League players. We got those during Team of the Year as well, so I guess we'll get those during Team of the Season. Um, and they're always fantastic as well. But both of these uh, both of these upgrade packs are fantastic. Uh, the 81 Plus and the Premier League Tots are fantastic. I think Matt packed some Team of the Seasons here. Um, we're going to have a look quickly through his video and see if he did pack Team of the Seasons or not last year. Uh, he says he packed them in the title, so yeah, there you go. Uh, he packed a James Madison in one of these packs. So these were typically very decent, and we'll probably get the exact same thing again this year, and I'm looking forward to that as well. So uh, if you get a bunch of rares in the club, maybe now's the time to start buying rares. Maybe you want to pick up some rares for 650, 700 coins from certain leagues, hold them in the club. Um... I know that the Premier League upgrade packs, the 25k pack ones, they were uh, 11 rares from no league with 30 chem. And these ones are 11 rares from the Premier League with like 50 chem or something or 60 chem. So yeah, I pick up uh, rares from anywhere if you want. Just fill the club up with rares basically and you should have a fun time doing these upgrade packs. So that's it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. If you guys want to see more videos like this or you want to see Team of the Season predictions, leave a like and leave a comment down below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.